there's two components. So one is just what cold weather does to your heart health. So as soon as you walk in, let's say you're about to go shovel snow, as soon as you walk into that driveway, your heart is already under stress before you've even picked up a shovel. So the cold weather causes your small blood vessels that are in your, your uh, fingers and your toes and your skin to constrict, to, to narrow. Uh, and when it, they narrow, the overall pressure in your cardiovascular system goes up. And the heart is what sees that pressure. And so the heart is pumping against this high pressure. So now the heart is seeing this high pressure, so it has to increase its pressure. So your blood pressure goes up, your heart rate goes up. So before you've even done anything, your heart is already a, under a little bit of stress just standing out in the cold. The second component is now let's say you take on an exertional activity like shoveling snow. So now your heart is under stress and you're putting further stress by doing something heavy like shoveling snow. And that's not surprising that if you combine those two things, you're asking for trouble and why we see increased heart attacks in patients who end up doing these things. The people who are really at risk are people who have prior history of heart problems. So if you've had blocked arteries in the past, stents, or heart attacks in the past, or really high family history of heart attacks, those are the people that are most likely the highest risk of having heart issues with cold weather. Now often it's not just the cold weather, it's usually cold weather that increases your risk and then you're doing something exertional, um, such as you know, uh, clearing snow off of a driveway, that usually the com combination of those two things is what leads to the potential risk of heart attack. I think that's one of the main things that you can do to protect yourself is be aware of the warning signs. So things to look out for would be chest, any sort of chest discomfort. So chest pressure, chest pain, it can present in a lot of different ways in different people, radiate to the neck, the shoulder. So just kind of in the chest area, be aware of any sort of discomfort that you're having that you haven't had before. Um, you can start having profuse sweating, nausea, shortness of breath. So I would say those are probably the most common symptoms that we see. And so try to be aware of those. And if you don't ever have those or that's out of your norm, if you have those, it's very important to seek immediate care because timing uh, of, of an intervention or diagnosing of what's going on is very important. You don't want to delay and wait and wait and check out the next day. If you're concerned or having any of those symptoms, you should seek immediate care. You know, it's actually very interesting. There's been several studies now. So two things have been clearly, uh, uh, the relationship of cold and heart has been clearly delineated. One, there's more heart attacks and strokes in the winter months. So we know that for sure. Number two, there's people that get hospitalized with heart attacks or die with heart attacks goes up when there's snowfall. So that actually has also been shown in studies. Uh, and it's not just with snowfall, but the amount of snowfall. Uh, so as the snowfall goes up, the rates of heart attacks, uh, people who are dying from heart attacks and who are being hospitalized with heart attacks go up. Um, and the duration of snowfall, so how many days there's snow, also leads to higher rates of heart attacks. Uh, and what we see in those studies is that the peak of those rates often happens a day after the snowstorm has subsided, and it often is in a majority of men. So which is often leads us to think that this is likely due to people going out shoveling snow the day after the snowstorm, which is leading to these increased rates uh, of heart attacks. So it's quite literally, it, the risk is there. It has been shown uh, clearly in the, in the studies. Um, and so this discussion that we're having, I think, is very, very important and quite literally can save lives. It's usually a late presentation. So they won't come in, you know, they'll say, hey, I was shoveling snow and I got some chest discomfort. And then they went inside and thought it was nothing. And, you know, their wife made them some coffee, you know, and so they slept on it. And the next day it got worse and they finally come in. And, and now you're seeing kind of the damage done to the heart because they waited too long for the heart attack. So that's not uncommon for us to see. Um, so I think, again, why this is so important for people to understand is that risk is real. The time sensitiveness of, of if this does happen is very important. So being aware of all of this can really, really, you know, can save lives.